So I have this issue where I can't really sit down for too long. I just can't. Especially around people. It just it doesn't work for me. I have to get up. I have to move around. I have to do something. I have to go prepare something. I have to go make something. I have to do anything. Especially for having any kind of a conversation. I just can't sit down and relax and shoot the breeze. It just doesn't work. So for me, in relationships, I thought about love today a little bit and what, what love is for me. I understand it's a commitment and a connection. But when I'm with somebody, for me, it's, it's like I, I wish and I hope that it could be permanent. But for my personality and the way that I've seen myself, it seems more part-time for me. It's me getting up, moving around, trying to do something while I'm in the middle of this relationship. And I've told a few people in my life that I've loved them. But is it a lasting for everything like I wish it was in the stories? It's not. Nor I don't think it can be in my current state. Um, not because I just came off of a divorce, but I feel like I don't think my body lets me do it. I feel like I'll always want to get up, move around, do something different. And I think the problem is, is that I'm attracted to people that are solid, that will, that are more uh, guardian-esque, right? They like their, they stick to their, um, where they grew up, you know, what they want to do. I feel like I like the foundation, you know, that that the people that I'm attracted to have. Um, it's either that or they're just crazy, crazy people. So I'm also attracted to that kind too. But for these foundational people, I like I like how solid they are. Um, my ex-wife, she was very good at speaking. I never was, right? I had a stutter. I still do. Sometimes it comes out. But I had a heavy stutter going through school, and I still use fillers in my language. Um, I, I use those a lot uh, to make a coherent thought. Um, she was strong like that. She was very solid. She was into traditions, um, speaking your mind, all of the things that I lacked. Um, I loved that about her. I still do. She still has all of those things. And I'm still attracted to her in that sense just I just lost the commitment part I think that's the problem for me I'm attracted to a lot of people I can be infatuated and I love the attention and I love giving the attention to a lot of people I feel like I can fall in love in that sense um, in all the right ways I feel like I am sensitive I can listen I can do all of these things that you would hope for in a relationship the, the only the problem the biggest problem for me is 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 the time and being able to stay there without having a mental breakdown and it's not because of the other person it's because of me and that's really sad I can love a lot and I have a huge capacity to love I mean I'm a nurse like I really do love people the and I can love people uh in a romantic sense, for sure. I just can't stay. And who wants that? I guess I'm a... I don't know what that makes me. I don't even know what you'd classify that as. Maybe a man slut. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but... But, maybe. But I don't like the... I don't like the one and done or the one night stand thing. I, I never, never, that never appealed to me. I still love the connection. But it's like I go into a relationship and have this relationship with this person, but then I still, I just want to be friends after. I know that sounds terrible, but like I wanted to be friends to begin with. I just like all the extra stuff too, right? I still do like the physical stuff, you know? It's still ingrained in me. But, like, 
I, uh, I want and yearn for the friendship more so than that. And maybe I just need a superficial friendship more so because my inability to keep long-term friendships. Um, especially in marriage, you know. I'm scared to death of getting married again. I feel like I'll fail again with it, uh, for sure. I, it's almost a guarantee. I've held off without getting remarried, though, so that's good. I did get in relationships since then, and I was good enough. I broke every one of them off. Um, and I was the one that broke them up, just like my marriage. Um, that wasn't the case before my marriage, though. I got broken up with twice before my marriage. Uh, so I got rejected twice, and then... I did the rejection to myself after, I think. I think that's what I'm getting at. So love for me, like I feel like I'm, I don't know if I'm not deserving of it. I just don't feel like I can handle it, like mentally. Like I can't handle being with someone for that long. Like, and maybe it's better for my children that I'm in this position with them where they're not with me full time. Because maybe I couldn't handle them full-time. Maybe I don't have the mental capacity to do that. Which is really sad for me because I love my kids to pieces. Oh, we had such a fun weekend. But maybe I'm not good for them like that. Because I can't handle it mentally. Because of my anxiety or my inability to stay in social situations long enough. Even family situations long enough. I do this with very familiar people. Like, I'm just, I'm just a crazy kid, I guess. I don't know. I feel like such an outsider. I feel like I never fit in. I feel like there's no possible way to fit into any social situation. Social construct for any amount of time. Um. I just stand by myself on that, the outside of the wall. You know? So, when I talk about love, I believe in love. It's not like I'm pessimistic towards it. I just have this realistic view that maybe I'm a defeatist, but I have this realistic view that I can't handle it for an extended period of time. I feel like maybe I self-sabotaged a lot in my marriage. Or I created these things of opportunities where me and my ex would fight. And uh, maybe I was self-sabotaging it, but it was hurting my kids. And maybe I was doing it subconsciously and I couldn't help it. But whatever it was, like, it was not healthy for my kids for, for me to be there anymore. And I saw that. And now I see the difference with me gone. And they're doing better. I'm doing better and still bad. I don't know how to say it. I exchanged one bad for another. Um, I just have a hard time feeling good ever. So I think that's really it. Um, anyway, I, I don't know. So that's my discussion on love. My personal experience with it. Um, is it fun to fall in love? Absolutely. It's super fun, but nobody falls in love just for a little bit. Nobody likes to hear that I, I'm only good for loving you for a short period of time. Nobody wants that. I don't even want that, but that's all I can handle. That's all I can do. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm going to be lonely my whole life because there's very few people that want that. And some you'll say, well, what about the person that just wants, you know, I'm not just in it for the physical relationship, just for the sex or something like that. I want the emotional, but I can't handle the emotional for very long. How do I do that? What's my solution for that? Nobody wants that. Nobody wants part-time emotion, you know. They want to go all in when it comes to emotion. I mean, people are willing to do the physical thing temporary, but I need more. I need much more, but I can't handle it for very long. So this is where I feel like I shouldn't or can't really fall in love love again because 
it breaks too many people's uh, hearts. I'm a heartbreaker, not by choice. <laughs>